Hey guys, do you have a lot of dip powder and you don't feel like doing dip nails, but you like all the colors that you have? Do you have a lot of top coat or maybe base coat? Do you think that since you're done using your dip powders, you know, that it's been a waste of money and you can never use them again and you can't do anything useful with them? Well, I'm here to prove you wrong. <laughs> So the first thing that you're going to need is top coat. You could do this with base coat too, but since I have so much of it, I am going to put it in one of these wells here. This is my crappy palette. <laughs> this is for um, all of my, you know, um, ideas. This is my idea palette. You know, when I come up with an idea and I think maybe and I don't feel like using anything else. You know, I don't feel like using anything that I might hurt. I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. So I'm going to use two dip powders. And I think that it'll be a good idea for you to use a well like this so that when you mix the dip powder up, you can really get in there and mix it. You feel me? I'm just closing her up right now. Um... I did see, I saw a few people using Builder Gel. I tried that. That didn't work. I saw people mixing dip powder with poly gel. That didn't work for me at all. It just made it so solid that I couldn't, I couldn't move it around or anything. Same thing with the Builder Gel. I guess maybe it's a consistency thing or maybe, um, I know Young Nails has like a builder gel. They don't call it that. And then they can mix their dip powders in with that because everything is functional and goes together. But not every company does that. And I think Young Nails might be the only company that does that. But this is my hack. So I'm just going to do, do a little dab there. <laughs> pour, pour that baby in. And I really, I really love these these colors and I didn't use them at all this summer and they're blue they're like the icy blue that I like this needed to be mixed up more do you shake them I don't know yeah see that how you have to mix it You know that. If you have a lot of dip powders in your hair, you know that you need to mix them. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix it. See that? And see how like it's, it's thick, but it's not like so thick it won't spread. So we're gonna put this here like like this so that I know that that is the brush for that. And now we're gonna mix this one. Perfect, look at that. And there you have it. You have two new nail polish colors. So I've already prepped my nails as per usual. Um, these are tips that you can get from the pharmacy. Super, super cheap. You're not gonna be wasting any money. Uh, they're by Kiss, I believe. And I'm just going to go ahead right now and paint right here, all up through here. And I'm doing the tip part first. And see how you have, you have the glitter on there, right? So that might not be as smooth as you want. But once you get, you know, your other top coats and all like that on there. Everything should work out just fine. You may need to cure this a little bit longer. So what, ooh, ooh. So what we're going for here, don't want that, I don't want that, is an icy, like a winter wonderland kind of nail. So this is the colors that I choose. These dip powders are from, geez, more, Model 1s. And they um, they weren't too expensive. They came. This actually came in 
a summer collection kit and I'm pretty sure that you can still buy them on Amazon. And yeah, I got sick and tired of, of dipping. I think I did um, dip maybe two times and I was just, uh, no thank you. I, I don't like all the steps. I just, I don't. Plus, you know, I'm, I'm a gel girl. And there's no doubt about that. I love gels. So I'm going to put this in for a full minute, okay? Um, and then I'll be back. So right now they, they're like all, it, it's, it's cured. It, everything worked out just fine. I just want to add a little more fun. This also came out of Model 1's kit, but I put it in this container because I don't like the containers that comes with. So I have, I think I'm going to use some base gel to do this. And I'm just going to put the base gel right here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. And I know everyone says, Oh, but you shouldn't be using too much base gel. That's just for the base here now when you're doing adhesion, I think. That's 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 my thought on that. I'm just grabbing a fan brush. Fan brushes are great for spreading the glitter love. See see that? And I'm just See that? How it just lands on there perfectly. Check it. There we go. Well, that worked out just fine. And now we have to do another cure. So I cured it and everything's fine and dandy. Of course, I'm cruddy underneath of here. Um, just gonna take this blue that I made and swirl it around a little more. And I'm just gonna go right on top here. Same with this one. My cuticles are bad because when I don't have nails on, I go back to my very bad old ways and I gnaw at them and make myself bleed and, and everything else. And it is so very, very sad. So there's... I'm going to file, of course, some of this down so you will be able to see underneath of this milky blue color. It's not purple anymore when it goes on, right? It's like a milky blue. And she's not perfect right now, but we can work with it. See? So... I think I would need like a full cure on this. So that's what I'm heading towards. Now look, solid, solid as a rock. Now I'm going to do my pinky. I used milky white on this pinky before I came on. And that was just by Born Pretty. Just letting it settle a little, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna do the same to my thumb. I'm going to have to file all these. See, I still have a little bit of hair on this applicator brush. Ooh, I hate that. 
Okay, and I'm gonna cure that as well. So now we ne we need to file now, you know, because nothing is nothing is smooth. All right, it is it is a little chunky, and we do want some clarity right here. And I have this buffing block here. And see how like bendy it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to that one. See, cause see that glitter? No. All those little glitter chunks you want gone. I mean, not gone, but you know, the unevenness of all of it. See that right there? I need to get that. And yes, you will, if you are um, mixing dip powder top and top coat or even like, base coat like I, I said. Both of them work. If you're going to do that, you will need to file because it can get a little bulky. say right there there we go oh she looked nasty but I'm gonna clean them up real quick I have filed them the way that I wanted them and now we have to see the reveal of this because I honestly didn't do like a whole set I just like I made this I practiced first and the nail is clear so that's how I got that like nice crystal glassy effect but that didn't work on on these because the nails are like a milky white color already now I'm gonna just take some top coat not as showy offy as I am used to having but maybe we can do better on the other hand I don't know or maybe I should go back right and do more of that glittery blue color on these three nails what do you think so I top coated them and this way I can see you know, do I like this? Don't I like this? And quite honestly, I need, I need more. So I'm just going to, instead of using that, um, blue glitter, um, dip powder, I'm just, yeah, see, I can fix anything. So can you, you can do it. Anything your little heart desires. And you can even put more on than you need. Oh shoot. But not that much. <laughs> My husband's singing. Okay. So you know what that means. 
I literally have to cure it again and put top coat on it again. <laughs> Cause I don't know when to stop. All right, I'm gonna cure it for a whole minute. Groovy, some top coat. Don't need it on that, I need it on this one. This one. Oop. And this one. See, we're being cost effective. We're being creative. We're being wintry. We're being fabulous. I, I think that's fabulous. Cuticles are not great. <laughs> But look, look. Okay, we're gonna do the other hand. I'm going to, this time, do all the nails in this blue rather than do the bottom first. I think that might help. really quick you can totally tell I'm not a professional here I'm just I'm just some old lady you know and I'm glad that I, I picked this up like I, I started doing this because if I went to a salon I would be turned away for all of my cuts and everything else from me you know biting you know, and, and there's a lot of shame with it too. Just me being on here kind of, I get a little embarrassed. Okay. Let's say a lot embarrassed, but when they're on, I heal up really, really quick. When they're off, I go right back to where I was. And that is just not cool. See, I can, I can see all of those hairs, I swear. If you have dogs like I do, there, there's just no way. All right, so I'm going to cure this. For a little, a little bit and then we're, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do uh, the blue part doing it opposite way this time let's put this aside and look at what we have here and I shaking this up I'm just going to add a little bit more to it and we're gonna swirly swirl. There we go. There. And, you know, I kind of wish this was Builder Joe, but that didn't work. It wouldn't even cure. Mind you, this is my opposite hand. Yeah. Go on. I 
I didn't want it. I'm not doing like a French. I'm just like kind of making it look frosty. Look, you can kind of guide it like it's a builder gel. Just not being perfect at all. Having fun. Okay, so this is what I have. And let's put her in the nuker. I think, I don't know, where's that top coat? Just a little. I only need a little bit more of this, this other color so that, you know what I mean? Like we did before and I only need a little bit of it. So go in. My scoop is scooped out. <laughs> the scoop has been working. She going to need a good soak. Right, and now a little bit. Oh, nope, that was a little bit more than I expected. Sorry, peoples. And now swirl that in. Okay, that's good. And it's a better, it's a better blue, I feel. I'm going to set this aside right now. And we're going to go back in with base. All right? And let's go in some more glitter with our fan brush. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic with the fan brush? Like. it up so easily and thank god because i have a gazillion fan brushes and i love glitter so that is a lot more blue so you see the difference but that's okay That's a dirty fan brush. Now you gotta cure this for for a minute, okay? Maybe I should have saran wrapped it. What do you guys think? Anyways, be right back again. Now we have to use that blue again. Oh, look, ooh, I'm gonna put some more. Oh, I think I may have gotten into that light. Will it self-level? Mm -hmm. I have... Oh, shoot. What did, what did Sunshine do now? Let's clean it up. Ooh, I did have it in the light. Ooh, no bueno. Alert, alert, Sunshine made a mistake. What 
Okay. Let's try this again. Well, they look like big nubs, but I'm going to file it. They do. They kind of look nubby to me right now, but. Just take some playing around and that's what we're doing. All right. So this is going to get a cure and then I'm going to file it to make it smooth like these ones. So this is what I have. I have this. Here's the other side. This is the side where I went opposite. Let's see. No real big difference here, right? I'm, if you had the question of does it add bulk like a um, dip powder does? Yes, it does. See? That's a lot of bulk. But it resembles more to me like as if I had poly gels on rather than dip powder. And that is, that's the only difference. Enjoy your week. I hope you had fun watching this. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Bye.